I'm Julian David, I'm the CEO of Tech UK, and uh, welcome very much to our reception here. We are the Technology Trade Association for the UK, 850 member companies, including many SMEs, I'm very pleased to say, I'm really being in this room, obviously, uh, but also uh, the national and international names that, that you would know. And we cover everything from chips to clicks across the whole, whole the tech sector. So, um, I'd like to kick off this evening by obviously thanking uh, Huawei for supporting this event. You always need uh, companies that are willing to support these events, and we'll hear from them later. We'll also hear from a great friend and champion of the industry, Chi, shortly. But I'd also like to thank Ibrahim, Jonathan, and the team at SME for Labour for organising this. I'm sure those of you who managed to get a drink will agree it's been very well organised. <laughs> so, um, the, 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 the pandemic has been a moment of change for lots of things, and it was particularly uh, important, I think, for the illustrating both the importance of tech and the need to get it right, uh, particularly, obviously, for communities and society and people, but also for small businesses. And there have been many businesses that have been able to continue because they've been able to harness tech. And there are other businesses that don't have the access they need. And so what we need to do is make sure that we go forward uh, and as we build back better, I think I can use that because it seems to have become a slogan adopted by everybody across the political sphere, um, that we actually do get the policies in place to make that viable. So that's why we put together the report that is available online, and I think there may be some copies kicking around as well. Uh, if you still like it, in, uh, in there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, look, in that, we, we're very focused on practical steps. So, what is it that, the, that we need to do as a nation that we would really like the support of the Labour Party, obviously, in promoting this? all parliamentarians, all people in policy, policy to influence the current government to do and then to continue. I think you're going to reference, because uh, you were earlier talking about this, the need for some long-term thinking on these matters and issues, and we want to see that. And the sort of things we're talking about is, you know, take initiatives which look good, like Up to Grow Digital, and expand them so they cover all of the things that small businesses need. Don't keep it to just a small list of things some of them quite old-fashioned as well, uh, to take a look at uh, skills, the biggest issue that everybody raises all the time, but also the biggest opportunity. You know, we really do have an opportunity to uh, make digital skills available to all, but we need a way to do that. We need a, a roadmap. We need pathways that people can see to get into the industry. We're not very good in demographics in our industry, and this is something we need to check. And so having uh, a skills map and a skills toolkit uh, and expanding that, and you'll see how we suggest that should happen in the report and in our report on skills, we think is really important. Clearly approaching uh, green revolution as well as the digital revolution makes a lot of sense. Put these things together and help SMEs as they build their roadmap to net zero. Uh, and we'd like to see that happen. And then data, analytics, cloud, all the new tools that people need to use in order to be competitive across this country but also globally need to be supported. It still puzzles us why R&D tax credits, for example, are focused on physical things, not on the services that people use. And then lastly, we've got to make sure that the UK remains a great destination for the global industry of tech to invest here. And that's a matter of tone, which has been lacking in, in the past, but it's also a matter of policy interventions to make it easier for companies to see how they can invest in this country and grow jobs and businesses here. So look, that's, that's the five steps that we want. I'm really delighted, G, to welcome you, Shadow Minister for Business and Shadow Minister for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport. And who could be better to join us and talk about small business, tech, and the future. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you so much, Julian. I feel like you've been passed a torch. And it has to be said that you know, microphone technology has improved by the speed of uh, battery technology in the last 20 years. So you wouldn't perhaps notice it from this. But I want to start, just, I just want to speak quickly because I know that um, everybody's enjoying the, the networking, uh, which is such an important part of these events. But I did want to start off by saying a big thank you to Tech UK and to Railway and to um, SME for Labour and thank you particularly Ibrahim for the organisation tonight uh, to, for, 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 for having, holding this event and organising this event because I have to you know, I'll say that as a, you know, as a chartered engineer who spent 20 years in technology to then move into politics, different environments, but having a room full of people who are really into technology, policy and the Labour Party, that is <laughs> no, no, was that was that an artificial intelligence comment? <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm really, I should be the last person to try to uh, to to uh, highlight embarrassing uses of technology because they come to all of us. But um, I would just say sat thank you anyway for bringing together people who are into technology politics and the Labour Party because and, and, small, and small businesses in particular because that is just so critical and important uh, to our economy now and in the future and also at the heart of Labour's vision if you like for our um, our 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 future and I, I was going to say our digital future, but our future will be digital. Whether we, you know, I think it's almost time that we can stop using, adding the word digital to everything because that is part of everything we do uh, now. And um, as a, um, you know, as a, as a sort of, as an engineer and as a, as a digital minister, I was really um, sort of pleased to see, like, you know, I, I, my uh, local market, Granger Market in Newcastle, please go to it, it's excellent, you know, it has, it's a Cuban market from the 19th century, what it didn't have was any online capability. Three weeks after, three weeks after the lockdown, you could order anything, your fish, your meat, anything online from Granger Market. That was a fantastic transition, which I thought still spoke not only to the to the resilience of our small businesses, but also to the, some of the support that was available um, from, you know, to them to do that from the local authority, etc. But what is clearly the case also is that transition, which was really accelerated because of COVID, it didn't mean that those businesses ended up with the digital skills they needed, the cyber skills they needed, the digital infrastructure they really needed to make that a, uh, a sustained platform. And also, and this is for me is really critical, a green platform as well. And that is why, uh, I mean, I, 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 I truly believe, I'm a tech evangelist, I believe everyone you know, in this room, and congratulations to all of you who work in the tech sector, it, it is part, it is an essential part of the progress of our society, our, 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 the human race, um, and um, our planet as well. But unless that digital capability, and particularly control over our digital lives and our digital you know, empowerment of small businesses reaches out to everyone across this country and every demographic and let me say we need to see more women more um, people with people of all backgrounds in the tech sector we are losing out too much from that unless digital is part of every business everyone in a hundred percent access to digital technology everyone online every business online unless that happens we will be missing out on the true opportunity that digital provides for us and so and that, you know i have to i mean obviously i have to say something against the government fortunately there was so much to choose from <laughs> fortunately for you i'm not going to say everything i could say but i'll just just, just the example that you gave of the help to grow digital support you know, on my local um, northeast uh, LEP uh, website for small businesses, there are currently, we counted them, 56 different initiatives to support small businesses. What small businesses need is is is, is support that they can you know who, that they can go to, which encompasses everything, which will target them in pathways to everything. But also, the the budget for Help to Grow Digital is 260 million pounds. There are six million business, uh, small businesses in this country. If you do, I did the maths. I mean, you know, and it works out about less than fifty pounds per business. 
You know, is that really what's going to help them to grow? So, we let, and, and we have that in the context of a government that doesn't have a long-term funding plan for science, which doesn't have a digital minister right now, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> which is a bit scary. I'm really interested in how they do that, how they cover that at their conference. So we, we have a government that doesn't take, I think, doesn't take digital, has overseen the remonopolization of much of our digital infrastructure and hasn't taken advantage of the, of the digital opportunity that is really there for small more businesses and for our economy and that's why we need a Labour government to take that opportunity, give, enable that opportunity across our country. So that's what uh, that's what a, a Labour government would look like. I'm very pleased, I will leave that with you and I'm now going to hand over to um, our hosts, if you like, my sponsors this evening. So, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chief. Thank you, Julian. I'm Ashley Lumsden. I'm Director of Government and Public Affairs for Huawei Technologies here in the UK. Um, as the sponsor uh, this evening, I think it's my job to speak for as little time as possible. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to say a couple of things. Firstly, to thank Chief for the words that she's just given us. I think we couldn't have a better advocate, evangelist, as you say, for the tech sector in the Parliament. Uh, so I think it's really great that you're here, but that you also do this work, trying to make sure that the digital agenda is heard. Uh, and that there's yeah. progress being made. So thank you very much for that. If we think back to this time last year and the pandemic, uh, there were an awful lot of telecoms engineers uh, going out making sure that the internet was working for people working mm. from home. Um, not point. just the Huawei yeah. ones, but across the whole industry. Mm. And so it's an opportunity for me to say thank you to them for keeping our Zoom calls going when we remember to take <laughs> ourselves off mute, um, and looking after the fact that internet usage in the UK basically doubled overnight. Mm. Uh, and yet it largely kept going. Um, so they did a huge amount of work. But now we have to think about what do we do as we come out of the pandemic. And this report that uh, Tech UK have produced uh, has five good examples of things that the industry can do in partnership with government to support the growth of small businesses, just like the ones you were talking about in Newcastle. Um, so really, I just wanted to say thank you uh, to SME for Labour for the work that they've done making sure we have this opportunity to take you gave the report and chief your words but let me hand back to Julia. Thank you very much. So look, as, as you say, let the networking begin <laughs> and, and something to help you is on the, on the table at the back of it. Thank you all for coming. If you do want to know more about this, please do get in touch with us at Tech UK. We're very serious about this. We're also very serious about doing it up and down the whole of the UK, which is in all the regions. And we've just produced a thing called the Local Digital Capital Index, where we actually try and measure what is really happening. And I'm sure you'd be interested to see very that, interesting as, that as we go through. Okay, thank you. Thank you.